This was the view Dan Rosegarde had from his window when he visited Beijing three years ago. The Dutch artist decided to act and created this innovative solution, a seven-meter-high metal structure that contains an air-purifying machine that catches particles and turns them into black powder. Like a giant vacuum cleaner, the tower sucks in the polluted air and cleans it before releasing it. Basically, the design was inspired by Chinese temples, eh? like a sort of like a clean air temple. So the polluted air comes in from above, gets cleaned on the on the nano level, the the, the ultra fine particles, and then the clean air comes through here, and actually goes into the area surrounding us, uh, creating areas which are around 75% more clean than the rest of the city. Yeah. So we are now in one of the the cleanest spots in Beijing. The entire process requires 1,400 watts, or roughly the same amount of electricity needed to run a water boiler, and is generated using wind energy. But the tower is only one part of Rosarada's smoke-free project. His plan is to collect smog particles from the tower and compress them into smog-free jewelry. So here you see the, the cube sort of floating in midair. Uh, this is the the incredibly disgusting smoke particles that we harvested from a thousand cubic meter of clean air, compressing it and then sort of shielding it eh, because it's very polluting. And we have wedding couples purchasing this eh, as, a, as a sign of, of, of true love, uh, giving it to each other. According to the artist, each ring carries the equivalent of a thousand cubic meters of air pollution. The air tower is on display in Beijing before it sets off on tour across four of China's most populated cities.